All right guys, so watch the end of this video to see how we go from this to this. And not only because you get the settings, because no settings are hidden from you, so you'll end up with the preset, but I've helped over 1,000 creators master color theory so they can fully utilize Lightroom and get the look and style they want to their images, letting them create their very own presets and understand the why behind their adjustments and what actually makes presets work. So that you're no longer frustrated with editing and can express your full creativity while standing out online with a cohesive piece of feed and a tailor-made professional style to your images. So watch the end of this video to see how we edit this photo. You will be able to edit like Michael here, oranges, so the oranges really, really pop out. And then there's a lot of use of this steel looking blue, which is a little bit on the teal side. His images are really smooth, a decent amount of contrast, I would say. Overall, really smooth. And like the highlights and the whites look really, really pulled down, but the colors look really, really vibrant. So we are working with the image further down his feet so we are recreating this edit here and we have the raw image to do so so he's also a guest editor in my course where he teaches you how he edits about three of his images so this is one of them here where he takes you step by step on how he edits so it's not me guessing and you get to learn exactly what he does and the settings he uses you can come up here and check out his presets so I will link to these and I will try to work out a discount for you guys so make sure you try the discount okay so down in the description right right making this one look like this one to get that style those greenish blues and then those oranges really popping out so let's get straight into it so settings 1.8 that's why we get this super shallow look and then 85 mils pretty punched in there a low shutter there and then a pretty low iso so i'd maybe bump up the shutter and raise the iso but he probably knows his camera pretty well and he knows how to get a sharp image out of it okay so the first thing i'll do is just let's turn on profile corrections to get rid of some vignetting we will turn on the curves and these are curves from his presets that you guys can get if you like but i'll walk you through the settings so you don't have to but it's obviously helpful if you do as you can see pretty steep just not much to it there's a bit of warmth in the mids and that's about it and then we've got nothing done in this curve and then this one is just giving that fade to the darkest blacks and then drops the shadows there for a bit of, a bit more contrast there uh, ever so slight cap off to the whites yeah that's the curves so everything looks a little harsh up the blacks now we'll real soften all those blacks and whites down a bit, reduce a bit of contrast, a bit more. Just trying to match up some contrast, especially on the subject, and like these trees, shadows. It's up the glow. Overall brightness. Okay, in, in white balance, we're pretty sorted. We're pretty spot on there. Okay, so we are pretty sorted for contrast now. So if we go before, after, we've just smoothed out the image there. Contrast, and now it's more about the tones. We want to definitely desaturate our greens because they're very overpowering at the moment. So see how much that does, desaturating them. Same with the yellows. And then let's make our oranges pop and the reds pop. Right now up here we definitely want our oranges to be more of a red. Let's go this way. And then our greens more of an orange as well. Let's go this way for now. So I know he does this to his greens and then we're going to have to cool them off and split toning because they're too warm at the moment but just hold on. Then aquas, there's no aquas in here, but he does go to the left a lot. Going by his other images, touch of a teal, not many reds in this. Alright, is there any blues? Not really. So luminance, I want to bring down the luminance of the greens and yellows a bit. So this is the brightness of colours. A little bit of a pop to the subject, so going the other way with the oranges, reds. Not many reads. 
Okay, so now we should should be able to finish off our tones with split toning by just adding those blues into the shadows and such. So we want a nice teal, 215 is always a good one. Quite a bit in, and yeah, you can see that's where we get all our tones. Cooling off those warm greens in the shadows, and then in the highlights, let's go for a reddish orange, but a lot less subtle. Now, just balance out those cold shadows. So what I'll do here is with the blending, I'm going to shift it to the right. So this is going to be put. This is going to be putting much more blue throughout the image. At the moment, 50/50, 100% blue, a little bit of red. We still will be left in there. Uh, while we're here, we can bring the sharpening down. I kind of like his texture to the image, and it is like less sharpening. Calibration. So we've already got them done. If we just reset it. It's just, okay, so these are going to more of an orange and then the green primary, more of a blue. And if you know how the color wheel works, you will understand that these all affect each other. Every every color affects each other because it's all off the bat color wheel. If you don't know that, go through my free training and you'll learn the color wheel and how colors interact. We're about good now. So we need filters. Let's grab bottom right. So we need to darken the foreground here. So easy as exposure. Warmth. Shadows. To make it a little softer. For shadows. We don't want our foreground looking super harsh, we want to keep it nice and creamy, so let's keep it around. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got this nice dark foreground guiding our eye up to the subject, and now we need a really obvious one up the top left here. So that's where it's affecting. So we're creating much more dynamic light, taking away light from the bottom, bringing some in from the top left, and we're just going to do the opposite, so exposure. You can see that makes a big difference. And then again, softening it with clarity and texture. And then you can soften it a bit. Blacks, blacks can make a nice effect as well if you up your blacks a little. This thing we've got, if we come into here, you can see all these spot removal spots, the spot healing brush. It's reset, so that's before, and we just wanted it to look a bit tidier. I would maybe leave these ones here because they look quite nice. The it's almost bokeh, but we went for the cleaner look that he he has over on the left. So I had to, we definitely had to take those out. But I was just showing you. So it's before and after the cleanup. And it's just removing all the distractions from looking straight at nothing but the subject. Removing removing distractions means your subject just pops even more out of the image. Okay, so going over the key things that you need to understand. You need to understand that blues really cooled off the shadows a lot there. And then we made complementary color of the oranges really popping out of those cold tones in the shadows. And then we shifted everything quite a bit in the uh, hues here to get the right tone. We want to drop the greens differently because they look quite ugly up. Uh, same with the yellows. And we are about good luminance of those colors. Not much going on here. Um, and then the curves play a decent role for the uh, contrast. And then it's just a slight fade um, a bit off the top there and then the color channels add in a good amount of contrast with a little bit of warmth in the mids sharpening down a bit no grain calibration plays a role and yeah you really need to understand color theory to use that it can get quite complicated and it was shot on a sony 85 millimeter 1.8 okay so here's a reset and after after cool Make sure you sign up to my free training for those that want to really learn editing, learn the color, learn the tools really well so you can do what I do in these tutorials and just recreate people's edits. So that's what I really want to do is just give the best presets, give the best raw images and then teach people the why behind their adjustments so they're not so frustrated trying to get the exact color they want or the cohesive feed and knowing the why behind their adjustments. So free training, comment down below who you guys want to see on this YouTube channel and I'll catch you in the next one.